everyone. My name is Trina White, and I'm the director of Eastern Region at Newfoundland Power. I graduated MUN in 2005 with a Bachelor of Civil Engineering and have held a variety of engineering related roles with Newfoundland Power since then. In the early part of my career as a civil engineer, I was responsible for the design and project management of projects related to the replacement and upgrading of our civil infrastructure at our hydroelectric generating plants. This included penstocks, dams, surge tanks, all the major components that we will touch on in this video. To design and manage these projects, I applied the basic principles that I learned through the courses I completed in high school and in university. Today I'm excited to be able to give you a behind the scenes tour of Newfoundland Power's Petty Harbour Hydroelectric Generating Plant. The marvel of hydroelectric generating plants is how they transform water into electricity for you to charge your phone or switch on a light. This plant was constructed in 1900 and is still in operation today, providing low cost clean energy to our province with numerous modernizations and upgrades along the way. The basis of how a hydroelectric generating plant works is that it captures the energy of falling water and uses this to generate electricity. A typical hydroelectric generating plant consists of the following major components. This is a dam, which is used to raise the water level of the river to create the falling water, and it also controls the flow of the water. The large pool of water, or reservoir, that is created is actually the stored energy. The penstock is a big pipeline that transports the water from the reservoir to the power plant. A surge tank is used to control the pressure variations due to rapid changes in pipeline flow. It eliminates any pressure building up in the penstock and regulates the flow of water to the turbine. Surge tanks are normally located close to the turbine and the height is generally kept above the maximum water level in the reservoir. The force of falling water pushing against the turbine blades causes the turbine to spin. The turbine converts the kinetic energy of the water into mechanical energy. The generator is connected to the turbine by shafts, so when the turbine spins, it causes the generator to also spin. The generator converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy or electricity. Once the electricity is generated, the substation transformer will adjust the voltage and then the electricity will travel along transmission and distribution lines which carry the electricity to homes and businesses. The amount of electricity a hydroelectric generating plant produces depends on two factors. How far the water falls. The higher the dam, the further the water falls and the more power it has. The amount of water falling will also change how much electricity is generated. More water flowing through the turbine will produce more power. The amount of water available depends on the amount of water flowing down the river. I hope you found this tour interesting and best of luck with your studies. And remember, there's a world of possibilities with a career in STEM.